we've got two systems technically in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, you can argue that Marco is now a depression and Laura is on its way into the Gulf of Mexico, but it's pretty close to tropical systems and one close in map. And believe it or not, tropical storm Laura, once it becomes a hurricane and moves inland, could weaken, loop around and bring us some rain down the road. I'll talk more about that in a second, but our big story here this week is going to be the return of summer heat. I mentioned it earlier, but it's now been 11 days in a row where we've been below 90. One of those days was in the 70s. That includes today's high of 66, a little bit below our average high of 88, but with more sunshine, the rest of this week, we've got more heat, including a high of 94 on Thursday. Not the hottest temperatures of the year, but the hottest in a while. And tonight, the radar has a little bit of green, but it's not heavy rain. It's not thunderstorm activity. It's not severe weather. and It's not expected to be, but a little bit of light rain moving through, most of which will be gone by morning. Some of us, though, could have a little bit of fog to start off your Tuesday morning. Visibility is tomorrow limited. Remember, on a clear morning, the fog forecast would say 10 from top to bottom, but these numbers a little bit reduced for some patchy fog. Make sure you check in with Bill and Laura. They'll be here starting at 4.30 with the rest of the team to help get you out the door safe and sound. So tomorrow, we'll start off with thicker clouds, and then we'll see decreasing clouds as we head toward the afternoon and early evening. With more sunshine comes more heat. So after starting Tomorrow morning in the 70s, we'll get up to 86 by lunchtime on our way to a high of 90 degrees. If you think about it, the hottest day in nearly two weeks. All right, I was off a few days last week, so I've got a long list of super sunsets to get through this week. I'm going to start with Tom at Lake Wilson. You know how I feel about sunsets on the water. You get the reflection. It's twice as nice. What I'm not excited about is this. The sun is now setting well before 8 o'clock as our days now continue to get shorter and shorter as we head toward the second half of this year. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. And as always, if you've got a sunset or sunrise, send me an email to send it at cbs17.com. I try to show these every night at 11 o'clock. So let's fast forward to tomorrow morning when, again, we're going to have clouds, so you're going to see a few specks of green. Rain's not going to be a huge concern tomorrow. It's when will your clouds clear in your neighborhood, and therefore, when will temperatures start to go up? So we'll go through the day. Notice the cloud sunline around lunchtime is slowly starting to slide south. We'll continue the maps into motion. You can see more clearing in the north and northwest part of our viewing area through the afternoon. And then as we get into the evening, we really start to see the clouds disperse. So it's actually going to be cooler farther south tomorrow because you'll have clouds for longer and hotter more to the north because you'll have more sunshine. And then by late tomorrow night, most of us have seen clear skies and we'll get some sunshine in here for the second half of the week. All right, let's talk tropics for a little bit. After making landfall technically in the far outer southeast bands of the state of Louisiana, right around the mouth of the Mississippi, now tropical depression Marco that weakened is going to kind of just flirt with the coastline over the coast of the next several days. You can see the track. We'll keep it back to the west. This means it'll spread rain across Louisiana, but tonight it's a weakening storm and not as big of a concern as Tropical Storm Laura, which spent most of the day along the Cuban coast, holding it back a little. Now it emerges into the Gulf of Mexico, 65 mile per hour winds moving west northwest at 20. It'll become a hurricane at some point tomorrow and then a category two near category three status as it makes landfall later Wednesday and then weakening significantly with a little leftover rain here possible this weekend. But again, our big story, the heat. We're in the 90s for the rest of this week. We've got a little rain Saturday, a cold front Sunday, and then your 10-day has 80s next week. All right, Wes.